Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy Burstig back here, and we just got back from the Marvel's Avengers War Table for today that featured both information about the Claw Raid, Spider Man, shipments, and just overall what's coming with the update tomorrow. Now, today, for this specific video, we're going to be talking about the raid. Now, through, after all the hype, after watching that thing like 20 times over, finally going to sit down and actually talk about it. So, one of the biggest takeaways from this is like the boss fight, right? There's two different types of boss fights between claw, it seems. We have a giant claw fight where it seems like throughout uh, the time you progress through the mines, he does follow you and he's doing all this other crazy shit around the area. And eventually it seems like you will end up encountering and having to take him down essentially and maybe bring him down to size because you do see that there's two different types of fights. Him as a giant boss and his head was down looking like, you know, he kind of got incapacitated for a second. Or maybe he something going on with Zoravari. I don't know exactly what's going on there. Um, but he also shrinks back down to size to where you can kind of fight him at a normal, you know, range with your range attacks or melee abilities, whatever. Uh, they may or may not have added some new things that he can do in that regular size that he doesn't do in the story, for example. I don't know. Possibly, possibly not. I just think that's pretty interesting, though, that we're going to finally get to have a mega boss fight like that because we haven't had anything like that except for the campaign and having to fight like a, a bigger type boss in phases uh, like Modoc, right? It's been a long time. Moving on though. So there are new enemy types. Uh, as far as we know, the main ones are the Echoes, there's drones, and also there are there is one new spider bot. Now I do think that that spider bot that they showed is actually the mini boss that they mentioned a while back because if you look at it, it kind of has a lot of health from what I can tell even though that they didn't show you know all of the you know screen notifications and whatnot and health bars I do think that that's the mini boss that they had mentioned from that one room because they said it wasn't going to be an enemy like a villain so it makes more sense that it's that big spider bot and it seems to have a lot of different capabilities between sending out different little mini spiders and maybe having other hazards around the area so Definitely, it, it looks like it'll be somewhat of a probably tough boss fight, but you might be able to progress through it pretty fast, depending on your builds, of course. Uh, but yeah, also, the new puzzles, uh, a lot of them seem to be pretty interesting. I will say, though, that this raid is really going to require you to dig deep into having really good communication with your teammates. So running with randoms, probably not the best idea your first go around. Uh, but with friends, it seems like you probably should be able to do pretty okay. Based on what kind of puzzles they show, they don't seem too insane yet, but there probably are other things that we have no idea and have no clue how to progress through. It's going to probably take a little bit of trial and error, so definitely be prepared for that. The ones that, again, were shown seem simple enough between having to uh, send people to do other objectives while you're guarding an area, etc., is really just going to require you to be heavy on the teamwork. Um, the next thing is the new shields. I, I saw a little preview of it two or three different times. So there was one area where they were progressing and they had, you know, a yellowish aura and they were progressing through what looked to be corrupted vibranium. And it seems like uh, if you don't have that, you probably will either take damage or something will happen because uh, while they had those shields, they were taking down bits and pieces of corrupted vibranium around the area. And I would assume that in order to progress, you're going to have to occasionally be going back and forth to get these shields, kind of to keep yourself secure. And depending on what type of areas there are in this raid, those things will be very beneficial to you and probably get you through things a little bit quicker. So definitely being quick on your toes and understanding where things are and paying attention will probably come into play really heavily. Uh, they did mention unique rewards. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into the gear. So quick thing, I just want to correct myself. Not specifically the Sonic Conduit perks, but similar to how it will send different uh, bonuses to your teammates in that regard. So not exactly the Sonic Conduit with giving the statuses. They didn't show that, but they showed similarly what you'll see as a receiving end to that perk and what it'll be like for other perks. Damage buffs from your other teammates, which again, is pretty good, but your first go around, you won't have that. So I wouldn't say expect to see it unless there are some other things that you can get damage buffs from, right? Uh, but definitely this raid overall, I think is gonna be pretty hype. Now, 
I can't say the same for how it plays when it launches. We'll have to see. Hopefully there's no bugs, but you know, everything has bugs. There's nothing perfect in the world, so it's potentially going to have an issue or two, but I think that for the most part, the way that it looks, it looks great. I think that there shouldn't be too much of an issue uh, having a good time playing it. The thing that I also mentioned before with uh, Zawavari, I don't know what exactly his role is there, but it is interesting for him to appear in some way because he's more of a mystical force, right? So we've already had him do little previews and talk about, you know, uh, Loki, Scarlet Witch, and uh, was it Brother Voodoo, and maybe Doctor Strange, I think. So with his presence being there, could that set up other storylines to expand for Marvel's Avengers? Because he's already given us those kind of clues. What else could he potentially be giving us going forward for the game? And what major role could he play there? And hopefully he doesn't, you know, like die or anything. But who knows what that is? Because it's, it's just going to be interesting to see what the overall thing ends up being like. So with that, you know, they also said the elite raid will be unlocked at power level 160 so once you've gotten your power level cap increased a little bit you can finally take that part on and i believe you can basically go into the olt and you can get gear pieces to increase your power level so you should be able to do that and i don't know what the rate of time it will take to get into the new power levels but relatively i would assume you should be able to do it at a normal pace not too long um but that pretty much is like the simple breakdown. We don't know everything about the raid at this point because we're going to have to play it to find out. But just from the, the basic little uh, trailer that we got and seeing these different uh, puzzles and just gameplay of it definitely seems like something that's going to be interesting and fun to play. I don't know what exactly the echoes can do because they didn't show that necessarily. But I think that most of these enemies are going to be able to take a pretty heavy beating. So. Be prepared for that and get your builds ready because this is going to be some interesting shit. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Elite version, though. The Elite version, I hope to see just really fucking crazy shit. But that the Claw Boss fight definitely is something I think is going to be major because if it does really well, I would like to see some other big-time boss fights like that, whether it's cinematic feel or not. Um, just the fact that we have two different variations of it is really cool. And again, that little mini boss fight, it may or may not be that, but it, it more or less seems like that that is what it would be. Otherwise, I would assume it's like an echo or something that's super buffed up, right? Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this breakdown. There's not really much to kind of dig too deep into as far as the raid going in the missions itself. Um, but be prepared tomorrow. Uh, I'll be on, I'll be playing as Spider-Man, and then I'm probably going to take the raid on as Black Panther and stuff like that. So... I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.